I'm here with Dr. Robert Kirstein. Uh, Dr. Kirstein is a prosthodontist and a researcher, and he's one of my mentors. And I like to think of him as the T-Scan guru. So, Robert, what do you think of the CNO Symposium coming up this year, the virtual CNO Symposium? Well, it has a, a great uh, program of speakers, all who are you know, known experts in many aspects of what we now define as neural occlusion. And uh, you know, that's really, a, for a learning attendee, that's a great combination of TM joint experts, meaning structural joint experts, people that treat those problems, people who treat dental problems, people who treat a variety of disorders, that, you know, complex dentists, I mean, that are, are complex for dentists to learn about. And um, so someone who can follow the, uh, attend the symposium virtually since we have to deal with the virus. Yeah. Going to be exposed to great education rather than being exposed to the virus. So um, I think uh, um, it's, it's really going to be a very good um, overview for anyone who watches it because it does have a di diverse program of all aspects of these kinds of problems. Yeah, basically occlusal science measured is the best way I can describe it in a short, uh, in a short phrase. Uh, tell us about what you're going to speak about, please. Well, I'm going to talk about the T-scan EMG synchronization and disclusion time reduction um, as a treatment, as a primary treatment for a broad reach of many patients who have uh, chronic muscular disorder, which is a subset of TMD, but it is the largest subset of TMD. And one of the, the great things about disclusion time reduction is that it's, it doesn't involve crowning teeth or moving the mandible or opening the bite. It doesn't involve any restorative dentistry in most cases. And so it's a really patient-friendly procedure that's rapid and effective. It has far reach into different aspects of occlusion-sensitive teeth. As you know, Nick, as you, you and I have studied that and published about that, and you and Tom Coleman have published that and studied about that. It has broad reach into the muscle activity levels that affect chewing, which we've also studied. It has also impact on the joint structures and tightening up the disc and the ligaments and things that shouldn't be pulled in the wrong places. And then, of course, the structural anomalies worse than those impacts that the, that the long disclusion has. So there's, the treatment itself has the capability of helping many structures on the head. And it's very important that dentists understand that adjusting the bite is a useful, helpful procedure because it's not equilibrating. Equilibrating doesn't work. It doesn't have the science behind it. And TTR has an incredible amount of science behind it. So I'll show some of that. But I, you know, since we only have an hour, the lectures are an hour, um, it'll give a dentist a good overview of some of the um, patient types that can be treated. It'll uh, show showcase the two technologies that work together to measure and um, um, treat the patient and also assess the value of the post-operative results, which is one of the beauties of measuring all the things before you know we can see the befores and afters in every aspect of treatment. So it's really, um, and those things will be showcased to the attendee. And, um, and then some of the research that shows how valid it is as a scientific approach to neurologically treat the patient. And um, uh, it's the only neurologic occlusal adjustment that really has shown true value in uh, improving patient symptoms in a broad in a broad reach, as we just said. So that's you know in my presentation, I'll try to cover all of that. So what are you saying? Measured matters. <laughs> well, you know, I've been measuring since 1984. I'm the old yeah. measure, you know, and uh, yeah. my hair gives that away. You know. So, um, you know, how about that snow in the background? Your hair matches the snow. <laughs> yeah, well, I tried to pick a background that I look good in, but I don't think it's helping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, me neither. Look at the bed. It's, <laughs> it's well, I know you, I can did do in Mar you did not, Mar Marcello's interview from your bedroom, so I yeah. You know, I'll, You've Marcello, been in this bedroom. This is my spare bedroom. This is my yeah. office. <laughs> and Marcello, he had no pictures in his pictures, which I found very interesting. I'm not sure. What that <laughs> I know, right? Hopefully, you know, those weren't his diplomas being taken away by, you know, from, you know measured doctor from uh, Brazil. You know, yeah, from Brazil. Yeah, but it must be a chic thing in Brazil. Um, I know. <laughs> uh, and also in the CNO curriculum, the level two involves either you or Dr. Scott Green traveling to doctors. So let's make it clear that um, let's say they decide to become students of this measured occlusal adjustment stuff, the DTR or whatever, we're, you know, these processes, you can actually fly to wherever they're at and teach them in person, right? 
Oh, yes, yes. Um, that's one of the best ways to learn how to use a T scan or how to certainly to do DTR as a clinical procedure with patients. Um, and, you know, that's really the fastest way to learn. And I think you can attest to that because you were one of those doctors who had, you know, training session on how to do DTR. And About 10 years ago. Yeah, 2011, I think. And, um, Something like that. And, and that. and that has inspired other doctors to take that training. Um, and, you know, so you know the value of it, having experienced it yourself. It opened up a lot of opportunities for you in, in your practice and helping patients that, you know, struggle with these common things. And so, you know, it's not, DTR is not the sole problem that patients have, but it, ha it impacts a lot of patients that we see and it can be very helpful, rapid. And so, you know, that, that's my um, yeah. patients. But to get back to the point, yes, I will uh, come to your office, a, a, a dental office, of anyone who wants to learn it, who has the technology and wants to get better at it because right. it can be T-scan and implants that they learn. It can be T-scan and, and dentures if they're a big denture person. Cosmetic dentistry. Example. Scan and cosmetic dentistry, absolutely. And chair side learning is the only way to really get good at it in a way that you see how it's supposed to be used. And then you understand these are the things I need to do chair side with it and how to analyze what you get after you learn how to use it clinically. Yeah. But what I'm showing you on the screen, what aspects of those of the of the T scan data and the EMG data really matter. And we call that CNO2. CNO2. Yeah, CNO2 is in, in office training, you know, and that's, um, you know, live patient training. And then, as I said, it's, there's no question, it's the best training. And, and I'm not saying that because I'm doing it. I'm saying as a, as a practitioner to learn to use the T-scan. Hands on. T-scan out of the box and figure it out. It doesn't work that way. And company training is very good at teaching you how to understand what's on the screen and basic recording skills, but it doesn't give you the training of how do you treat that problem that you is sitting in your chair yeah. it shows you maybe how to record that person but not what to do with that information that can only be done chair side and um and um so uh, i've been training doctors for a long time and yes uh, and so uh, it's a great opportunity for a cno2 doc to take advantage of yeah well i appreciate it and i'm looking forward to seeing your presentation myself and measured matters and stay safe with COVID, okay? <laughs> well, thank you for putting the CNO Symposium together and for yeah. being the spearhead for measuring the occlusion. I mean, it's really, um, your impetus has meant a lot to the dentist, to a lot of patients who have come to see you, as well as others in the world who have learned from, you know, these things are available to them because of your work on the internet and YouTube. So, you know, CNO um, Symposium is, you know, the culmination of your efforts to get everyone to realize measuring does matter. So thank you. Yeah, well, we're trying to make it virtual and available this year. And the next year, we're going to go to a physical venue. Uh, yes. Well, provided things be, are normal again. Yeah, a new that'll, normal. That'll, new yeah. normal is, yeah. New normal. I guess we'll have to see what that is. I know. Well, thank you, Robert. Appreciate uh, it, man. <laughs> Take care. Stay warm up there. Soon. Yes.